everyone. Welcome back to yet another episode of VareQ, a property where we answer frequently asked questions about life. And today's question is, how do I make tough decisions in life? It's a question that a lot of you have asked me time and again and in multiple shapes and forms which could be hey you just split between two decisions that you have to take one of which you want to take and the second which you're being told you should take and how do you really go about making those decisions i have followed two mental models that have helped me tremendously in making some very tough choices in life and i have made some very tough choices in life the first one is looking at life in a very pure way and realizing the fact that most of the decisions you make in life are actually reversible. What I mean by that is if you were to take that decision and for whatever reason that does not work out your way, you can always come back to where you started from. Most decisions in this life are reversible, but it's it's crazy how much time we spend on decisions that are reversible thinking that they're not. We almost force ourselves into believing that if I take this decision, my life is going to change once for all, but that is rarely the case. We end up making a lot of decisions that we can always go back to where we came from should the decision not work out. And that's mental model one. But of course, there are some critical decisions that you have to take in life. And it's quite likely that when you make those decisions, they could be life altering. How do you go about navigating that? Here's the second mental model that I have used quite extensively. And that is, you always know which of the two choices do you really want to take. Like it's that, you know, that, that Facebook post where it says you toss the coin in the air and jab wo sikka upar ghum raha hota hai, what you actually think of is what you truly want. Like that shit is true. So between the two choices, you always know which is the one that you want to make. Ask yourself this first question. What is the worst thing that would happen if I were to make this decision? What is the worst thing that would happen if I were to go with the choice that I want to go for? And let me take an example. Let's say you are a business school student. You are sitting for your placements. You don't really want to sit for your placements because you want to start up. You want to start your own business. And that's what you truly desire. So you ask yourself this question. What's the worst thing that will happen if I start up instead of sitting for a job? And maybe the answer is the startup will not work and you will have to shut it down. That's what I would imagine the worst case that could happen. So the second question then is, or the second thing or the second step that you have to is close your eyes and vividly imagine the worst case scenario of your desired choice unfolding in front of you. Like vividly imagine today is the day when you realize that you have to close down your startup. You have to shut it down. You're sitting in front of your colleagues, your employees, and you're announcing to them that this didn't work out. They don't have a job anymore. That from tomorrow onwards, they needn't come to office because there is no office anymore from tomorrow. You're shutting down. And then you call your parents up and your friends and family and you tell them that you're shutting down. And then you are at this party two days after this and someone comes up to you and says, hey, how's that startup of yours coming along? And you're like, I had to shut it down. And you close your eyes and vividly imagine this. Now here's the deal with our brain. Our brain does not know how to distinguish between reality and imagination if the imagination is vivid enough. Which is why there are quite a few times when you wake up from your dream almost thinking that this is real. That's what happens to our brain. So if you close your eyes and you vividly imagine the worst case scenario unfolding in front of you, your body will begin to react in a way that will be very similar if this event were to actually take place in real life. Your heart will start racing, your palms will get sweaty, you will begin to feel nervous, you will start sweating. All the things and the emotions that you will feel when this actually happens will begin to happen to you. Which brings me to the third step and the most important one. Ask yourself, are you okay feeling all of this? Are you okay going through this worst case scenario? Are you okay going through this physically, emotionally, financially, psychologically, mentally, socially? Are you okay going through this and subjecting yourself to everything that will happen if this worst case scenario were to unfold? And ask yourself this question, am I going to be okay? 
And if there is any iota of doubt, if there's anything in you that tells me, no, I don't think I will be okay, don't make that decision. Don't make that decision because you're not as yet ready to face what is possibly the worst thing that could happen to you. If you're 100% confident that you will be okay going through all these emotions, make that decision. Make that decision. Now this mental model is beautiful because it doesn't tell you whether the decision you're making is right or wrong. And honestly, there's no one on earth who knows that that is right or wrong. No one will ever be able to tell you that the decision you're making is 100% right or 100% wrong. They're only going by probabilities and their own life experiences. So what you want instead is not the decision of whether this is right or whether this is wrong, but a way for you to be prepared for what is the worst case scenario should you make the decision that you want to make. And that is what the mental model teaches you, trains you for. It's called the worst case simulization model. It's something that's helped me a lot because every time I find myself stuck into doing something that I want and doing something that the world expects from me, I will always think of what if I make the decision that I truly want to make and what is the worst case that will happen if I make that decision. And the minute I make myself comfortable with that worst case scenario, I suddenly make myself courageous enough and I get this excitement, this rigor to make that happen because now I have mentally trained myself for the worst case and anything that happens is only going to get better and thus gives me the courage to make that decision. I hope this helps you in how you make tough decisions and until next week, I will see you all on VARIQ. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that whenever we put up a new video, you're aware of it.